Hi, Eric Gibault, EricGibault.com and today I'm going to show you the power of a simple white sheet of paper. That simple. Let's start. So very often I've got people telling me, yeah, but I've got no gear, I've got no money for better gear, I cannot better my picture, I cannot get a better my video, I don't have the, the gear, all this. Well, with this white piece of paper, actually, this is a DNA4, you could actually use a letter format or even a larger size like A3 or the equivalent in uh, American size or U uh, UK size, uh, you could better a lot your videos and your photos. So I'm going to show you five, six examples of when using this uh, white sheet of paper, you actually get a better uh, result. So I continue with the example. Let's start. So when we speak about white, uh, the first thing that comes to our mind is a white balance. So I'm going to show you how you could better your picture and video with this. Uh, obviously, the, the best way for white balance would be to use a gray card. I'll do a separate video one day explaining the difference about using a gray card and a white piece of paper, okay? But uh, I'm going to show you. So first I'm going to do in video. So I'm going to put the uh, white balance in automatic. As you can see, uh, this is how the, the iPhone is what, using Filmic Pro is seeing me, and what, uh, the colors. And now if I put the white balance, and now, sorry, so this is how it sees me and now I put the white paper and see the small shift, okay, I'm going to put here more or less and then I'm going to lock it and as you can see now the color is a bit different. Uh, sometimes the difference is really massive, here there's not so much different because uh, it's taking a lot of this, it's yellow so it's not too much difference with white, okay, but if it's also like green or blue probably would be very different. So that would be for video, normally you don't do it uh, on the fly like this, you prepare your camera, then you lock the white balance and then you carry on with it. Second, how could you, how could you use that for pictures? Well, actually in photography, uh, it's better if you work in RAW than JPEG uh, if you're going to uh, do a white balance, balance correction in post-production. But, but, but anyway, this works uh, with both RAW and JPEG. So first option is uh, you'll know how to use your camera and how to set a white balance directly with it. And uh, maybe your camera cannot do it, but in case it can, you actually uh, point at the sheet of paper and then you lock it as white. Uh, not every camera works the same way, so read your camera manual to know how to do it. But if you don't want to do this because you want to lock your uh, white balance all the time and then set, set it again or whatever, or you don't know how to do it or your camera cannot do it, what you can do if there is a series of pictures like an object or a portrait, take the first or first two or three pictures with the white piece of paper present. Like doing a portrait, I take it here and make sure it's in the in the in, in the picture. Or if you make object, put all the object and put the white piece of paper in there. Then when you edit your photography in your uh, Lightroom or um, uh, Capture One, whatever piece of software you're actually using for editing your RAW file or optimizing your JPEG, then you use a small uh, drop uh, counter, I don't know how you call it, and then you click on this white, uh, the, on, on, the, uh, on this white piece of paper that will adjust the white balance and then you copy the setting you get and you apply it to the rest of the series of your photography. With a simple piece of paper like this, you can actually better the colors of your photography and video. So the following use is going to use this as a diffuser. Here I've got a, a, a small uh, bottle of cinnamon. I'm going to make a picture first without any diffusing. Okay, so you see how it looks. Okay, as you can see, there's a, a shadow of, uh, it makes a, the, the, the shadow of the, the small bottle. And uh, this uh, gray bar in the back is actually painted on the wall, okay? So now I'm going to decide I don't want this uh, shadow on the side, okay? So I'm going to put my white piece of paper like this as uh, to cut the light. I want the same depth of field, so I'm not going to touch my aperture, but as I have less light, I'm going to drop my speed a bit. Okay, up. So with the wind, it's really hard, okay? I think I got it. Yes, as you can see the picture now, there is uh, no, uh, no, there is no, this shadow is not there anymore. 
and uh, important if uh, I, I did that for an object but you can actually do that for a portrait if you see the nose is going from here to the to the to the ear you can actually use a, a white uh, piece of paper this is a really thick paper if you compare to it uh, would be like the one you use for copying you know this almost uh, see I don't know what you call that like it's really thin uh, some tracing paper I think it's called tracing paper okay so uh, you can actually use tracing paper and uh, that would be uh, thinner and uh, diffuse the light better but if you don't have it this may be okay for you okay. so now we're going to do the other way around uh, we're going to bring light using uh, this uh, piece of paper as a reflector here i've got my cinnamon uh, a bottle here i'm going to make a first picture just like this without anything and now i want to bring some light and some kind of reflection to it obviously this is an object uh, and it's plastic so it makes some reflection uh, if i bring my white uh, piece of paper but actually uh, if you make on a person you also bring some white look at my beard if i bring the white here you can see my nose also gets whiter okay so uh, you can use it on people also obviously it depends on the size of the piece of paper but uh, for a close portrait you can actually use it uh, well this way well <laughs> or this way the, the right way because i'm the camera is set like this okay and i'm going to make a second picture bringing some lights with this white piece of paper light and some kind of reflection okay as you can see the difference there is some uh is it, it gets more more light okay so you can use this white uh, piece of paper as a reflector i am in the laundry and uh, i'm going to show you i'm going to make uh, pictures of this and um, i want to see uh, what happened with the flash most of us uh, we have a small flash unit that is integrated in the camera i do i don't because the olympus uh, md5 and one and this don't have integrated flash but it gives you a small flash like this you put on top of it but in case you have a very small flash the size in the front will be very similar to this so the light is really harsh so it's not really nice so i'm going to make a picture from top here so you see the effect how it looks as you can see it's really strong shadows everything so you take a piece of paper you put it in front of your flash unit a bit further you know as long as it doesn't go over the lens obviously well in front of the lens i mean as you can see shadows are a lot softer in case you have a flash that can be orientated like this see? and you can also do the following thing if it's a big flash also instead of going through the flash uh, through the paper you can actually uh, bounce the the light on the paper okay it will be different it doesn't mean it will be better but you have several way, way of using a piece of paper with your flash in it so you can see this piece of paper can be perfectly used uh, to do some bettering the, the light of your flash so i'm still here in the i'm still in the laundry uh, uh, room and i uh, imagine you want to do uh, your cinnamon uh, bottle you want a white background so you put your piece of paper like this uh, you make sure it's uh, a bit curved in the back okay like this i'm here and then i do the picture now okay negative vertical i'm at 2.8 so i've got a shallow depth of field okay but here here's my uh so for this obviously you need the paper to be uh, not to be wrinkled the one i've been using up to now is completely wrinkled but you can carry one in your bag or somewhere and uh, it's ideal for example if you want to do some uh, picture in a wedding like the rings you have a white uh, piece of paper and uh, it can really help you for that that, uh, but that's really simple that was with natural light so now let's say i want more depth of field so instead of 2.8 i'm at f8 but i don't have enough light so i need to bring my flash or it's night time and there's no light here whatever i use one piece of paper for the backdrop and another one for diffusing the flash so you need to prepare a lot of money some serious budget because you need two pieces of paper so i'm going to make a first picture with that just with the the flash and the backdrop as you can see there are some shadows appearing in the back on the side so now i'm going to do the same picture but using my paper for to diffuse as you can see the shadows on the side don't appear anymore so uh you really need to prepare some uh serious budget for that 
because uh, you need two pieces of paper. And now to thank of my followers from South America and some of North America, obviously, not because I don't thank everyone, but just because I want to make a, a picture of a larger object. I've put some uh, flower, a uh, pan flower, it's called. Uh, they use it uh, a lot in South America. And uh, in this case, you have a larger object, you need two pieces of paper. Obviously, uh, when it uh, gets connected, maybe you'll have to erase it in Photoshop. So I'm going to do the full thing. Two pieces of paper and a diffuser. So these three all together. Okay. So here you see, I've just made uh, the picture of my uh, pan uh, flower with uh, two sheets of paper and a third one for diffusing the flash. So uh, as you can see, it's not very hard to uh, use a simple uh, plain uh, piece of paper like this to better your lighting, better your uh, user backdrop or uh, a white balance, whatever. There are many, many uses of a simple uh, piece of paper. So I recommend you have one in your bag. You can fold it actually, except if you want to use it as a uh, uh, backdrop, then you cannot be folded nor wrinkled. But uh, otherwise you can use it this way or if you want to use it as a reflector, you can actually uh, stick it on a cardboard and it's maybe it's easier to manage. But uh, keeping, it, keeping it simple, uh, this way you can do many things with that. So uh, don't forget to bring with you a white sheet of paper, it's going to help you quite a lot. If you see anyone laughing at you when you get this out, uh, the paper, although this one is a bit thick, can be used, uh, can be used uh, to wipe uh, something you know about. So uh, you can actually tell this person to go away with the paper and wipe it. Okay, no problem. I hope you like this video. Please share it on social networks or website or wherever. If you have not done yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a button down here a small, and also a small bell. If you click on it, you'll get notification when I upload a new video. My website, erigibo.com. If you have any question, you can leave a comment below or send me an email to info at erigibo.com. And below also put links of my gear on Amazon and also links of other parts of my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye.